to shock theta. I am haphazard, here to inflict shocking events. <laughs> All right, here's the situation, guys. A fellow ham friend of mine picked up this clean ranger at a swap meet. He told me when he looked down through the perforated holes in the cabinet, he could see something laying loose near the rectifier tube. I thought, well, maybe the little key or platform came loose and it flopped off its mounts. But nope, that did not turn out to be the case. Instead, I find this homebrew module laying loose inside of the chassis. So this appears to be a push to talk module with a little built in power supply. So somebody constructed this and rather than finding a safe way to mount it, yeah, he just threw it in there. Let's go, right? Well, here's the problem guys. This cap down here is a buffer tuning capacitor. There's 300 volts DC on that capacitor. This power transformer, as you can see, is powered by 120 volts AC. So it is laying on this chassis with plenty of opportunities to short. And obviously that would damage your transmitter. Why would anybody build this module and just throw it in the radio and assume that's okay? Then I saw this cable going down through this grommet. I thought, well, if this guy did this kind of work, I wonder what he did underneath. Let's take a look. Okay, I've got the Ranger up on its side. Are you ready for this? We'll pan around, and what do we see? A pair of radio caps hanging loose underneath the chassis. And guess what those caps are? They are a replacement for the original high voltage capacitor. These capacitors have approximately 650 volts on them. The guy attempted to silicone those to the bottom side of the choke, but over time they broke loose and they were hanging loose in here so they could have easily shorted to this aluminum plate or they could have made their way to the bottom of the cabinet and performed a little arcing party. Luckily, that didn't happen, but once again, We've got a very hazardous condition here. All right, I'll be posting a follow-up video of this Ranger once I get it cleaned up and safe to operate. But what my question is, when you're working on something like this, what type of thought process is going on where somebody could do this type of work knowing what a hazard it is and then passing it down to somebody else just think, if I had just powered this Ranger up, what could have happened? Why would you do that? It's beyond me. This has been a D-Lab Demented production.